Hey guys, I'm back with another video. And I made a showcase another knife that I've made. It is the... Well, it's actually a custom weapon, but it's based off of the CSGO M9 Bayonet. Or really, this is a regular M9 Bayonet. So, here it is. An M9 Bayonet. Custom. And see, it's got the one side blade, one side wide blade with the, um... Forced white grip makes for a really good grip. We got the custom blade here. It's got the hole in it, like the actual blade the blade has. But I think it's a custom blade, it's more like a um, normal knife blade. Like from here, it goes kind of an angle, and then it goes straight to another angle. But as you can see here, it goes from with the teeth. It goes sort of like a curve up. And yeah, it's really it. It's got a small gap here, another one here. It's got the hole there, and another one there. I know that this hole's this one's small, but that's the best I can do. I don't have any specialty pieces to help me with that, so I have to deal with this. I can't really show you the inside of the grip it is kind of glued together, I guess you can say. Um, if you want to make one of these, you can like not have it glued. It's completely stable by itself, but. I mean, it's stable enough that you can actually hold and swing a little bit. But um, since I wanted to kind of more sturdy and not more of a like, because like when I was holding, I was taking like the blade was moving back and forth really, really, like a lot actually. So what I did is I just put I put like three little dabs there and there, and that was pretty much it. All these pieces here is like left over, so yeah, that's it. That's really it, guys. Um. I mean, literally all I did is I have this one, I have this blade here, and as you can see here, there's three plates there. Those plates right there run through the entirety of this grip to here. Because right here is the back of the actual grip, where this plate is being held on by. It's a complete beam going inside the grip with, um, jumper plates. If you don't know what those look like, it's pretty much like a one by 2 but with like a little stud in the middle. I don't know how to really describe it. Here, I'll just take this piece off right here. As you see, this piece has two studs on it. Sorry for the dogs if you hear that. There's like, just pretty much paying no attention to that, but, um, as you see, here's the 1 by 2 Pretty much the jumper plate is I get rid of one of these studs and put it in the middle of that, and that's a jumper plate, and that's what's pretty much inside this whole entire grip. So. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna make next. Probably another knife or something like that. I'm not sure. Because I'm, I'm kind of going through a sort of a, um, I don't know what to build. So, I'm just building knives over and over, doing custom ones. As I said, this is a brand new one. I've not built this yet. This is pretty much a, cu this is a custom knife. Um, but that's really it. Um, I do still have my butterfly knife. You can see it over there, the green and black. But yeah, that's really it, guys. Um, please subscribe, help out a lot. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. So I'm talking fast, that's the way I do it. But um I'll see you guys in a video. Keep on gaming.